Hello everybody, in this video I'll show you how to use your PS4 or PS5 controller when you want to connect to Xbox Game Pass on the PC, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do actually is get out your PlayStation 4 controller or PS5 controller and then hold this button, the share button and the PlayStation button, right? Um, give it one second and it's going to start blinking, right? This means it's going to play, pair in Bluetooth mode. So now from here, what you want to do is go to settings, right? And Bluetooth. as you can see right here, I have devices right here. I can click add device, click Bluetooth. And then from here, I can click show all devices if I want to. But I actually have my PlayStation already connected. Um, I'll just click here as you can see wireless control. And then it's going to become stack or it's going to turn off. And wait for this to connect. Just wait a second. Um, now it's connected as you can see. Now what you want to go to is if you probably already have Steam. But this is the main part that it, everyone disregards. Um, you have to enter big picture mode. So what exactly is big picture mode you're probably wondering. Well, this button on the very top right here. You want to click enter big picture mode. So just wait for it. And I don't know if you see this, um, but I see it right now. Hopefully you see it. Um, you can see my PlayStation is connected. So actually, let me move my camera right here and just move the thing right there. If you don't see it, I'm sorry, it's actually right there. Well, it's on the bottom left corner. Sorry if you don't see it. You want to click settings and then from here you want to click controller. And then you want to enable switch, I mean, sorry, Steam input for um, PlayStation controller, right? Or sorry, Xbox controller. Enable it for Xbox controller. And then from there, since your PlayStation is already, PlayStation controller is already enabled, click enable uh, games without support also. And then go back, go back. And um, you just go to library. And then you want to click add game and then do add a non-Steam game. And then you want to add your Xbox Game Pass or whatever is linked to your Xbox Game uh, Pass, like the game specifically. And then from there, you just select it, right? And then, for example, I have this Rockstar launcher. It's Even though it's probably not the Xbox game you're doing. Then you want to click Properties. And then you want to click um, Controller. You want to click Enable Steam Input. And then from there, everything should be set. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you.